Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the thermodynamic properties of fluids and about gas equation. So in the previous video, we discussed about uh, the concept of how the volume or uh, density of fluids it is affected by change in pressure and temperature so we discussed about bulk modulus of elasticity and coefficient of volume expansion so all revolving around three main parameters volume pressure and temperature so these three things are very important when it comes to you know the basic properties of a substance be it fluid or anything so in the thermodynamic engineering thermodynamics discussion also i have said the same thing so you can check out those videos here also uh, this discussion related to thermodynamic properties of fluids and gas equation it will also revolve around these three important parameters associated with fluid pressure volume temperature okay so just to uh, have a very uh, you know uh, what is thermodynamics we have already discussed it in engineering thermodynamics here we will discuss it in short so it is basically the study of transfer of energy between systems surroundings and boundary so these three parameters will come into play the the whole thing which is under study is the system everything else external to it is the surroundings the you know uh, the interface or the thing that separates the system from the surroundings is the boundary so uh, how this energy transfer affects the properties of the substances that is also under study in this subject so it is derived from the greek words thermi which means heat and dynamis which means power so thermodynamic properties so they describe the characteristics of a system so using these thermodynamic properties we try to determine the physical conditions of a substance a system so as i said everything in thermodynamics basically revolves around three important properties that is pressure temperature volume so thermodynamic properties they can be divided into two categories intensive properties and extensive properties so intensive properties are independent of the mass of the system they are not dependent on the mass so any change in mass will not affect the intensive properties for example pressure temperature whereas extensive properties they are dependent on the mass so any change in mass will cause a change in these properties for example volume energy mass the same thing density like that so here uh, uh, the thing the intensive and extensive property discussion the value of extensive uh, property for an overall system it is the sum of its individual divided parts okay so the overall value of extensive property for the whole system is the sum total of the extensive properties of the individual parts the smallest number of individual parts into which the system can be divided into broken down into so it depends on the size or extent of the system for example if we divide a mass of let's say 10 kg into 10 equal parts so each part will have a mass of 1 kg so when we combine it we'll get the 10 kg back okay so like that so it depends on the size of the system the extent of the system and they change with time whereas the intensive properties they are independent of the size or extent of the system for example if we consider a substance or a system and we break it down into 10 different parts 
each of those 10 different parts for example they are in equilibrium with the system and the surroundings then each of these individual parts will be will be having the same pressure and temperature it is not that the pressure at some point is different at the other it is different like not like that okay so intensive properties are not additive in nature so here equilibrium is very important okay so there are some conditions and intensive properties they can be functions of both position and time okay so intensive and extensive properties so thermodynamic properties of fluids so fluids basically when we say fluids it means liquids and gases so the properties of fluids they are affected by temperature and pressure which was we also discussed in the previous video related to bulk modulus and coefficient of volume expansion so here we'll try to understand this relationship with the help of another expression which is called as the gas equation which relates pressure volume and temperature so the gas equation is given by this expression pv is equal to mrt so it is one way of expressing the gas equation there are other ways also so here these individual uh, you know symbols they stand for the small p it means absolute pressure newton per meter square small m is the mass of the gas in kg then we have v is the volume of the mkg of gas under study r is the universal gas constant and t is the absolute temperature in kelvin okay this is the one of the representation of gas equation there are other ways also to represent another way is let's say we have the same pv is equal to mrt and we bring this mass small m towards the denominator side when it goes to the left hand side so we will have small p small v is equal to rt where small v is the specific volume okay the ratio of the volume and mass the reciprocal of density okay v by m next we have another way in terms of the number of moles also we can express the uh, ideal ga the gas equation which is we have again the standard representation small p capital v is equal to small m r t here the mass of the gas can be expressed in terms of the number of moles and the molecular weight of the gas which is small n capital m where n is the number of moles of gas the mole concept and the capital m is the molecular weight of gas so we can write the gas equation as pv is equal to nmrt where the same small p is the pressure v is volume n is the number of moles m is the molecular weight of the gas r is the universal gas constant and t is the temperature so these are the different ways of expressing the gas equation all of this it tries to correlate the three important parameters around which every discussion related to no related to fluids or the thermodynamic discussion it revolves around which is pressure volume and temperature okay so in our future discussions also we'll be using these equations depending on our requirement we'll be using a particular type of expression which is suitable for application for a particular purpose so all of this the gas equation is derived from the three fundamental laws you know boyle's law charles law and avogadro's law when they are combined together we get us the gas equation so we have studied it in the uh, you know school level chemistry or college level chemistry we have discussed this so again we are just revisiting it so we'll be using these concepts in the future videos in the future discussions so that's why i uh, 
try to uh, provide you this basic discussion related to gas equation and the thermodynamic properties of fluids okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much